Hiya. Hey, Mike, what's up? Well, you know, we, we taught together for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. One of our old students, uh, Tony Fontecchio, you know how his dad taught him to be a plumber. Uh -huh. Well, he's into sales as well. And, you know, they did a really good job on my house mm. with plumbing. Also. But one thing I was just never satisfied with, and it's basically because of our good old EPA, you can't use much water when you flush the toilet. Mm -hmm. And so we have a toilet with like three plungers beside it. It's just occasionally it's a real mess, but mm. uh, it's adequate. So I talked to him about this problem. He goes, yeah, they've got some new toilets out that use even less than 1.6 oh. gallons and flush three times better. I said, oh, yeah, right. And he says, no, go to YouTube. Look at that thing. This guy puts like a dozen golf balls in a toilet mm. and flushes it. It fills up faster than the other one. It works. I don't have to have plungers anymore. Nice. And I knew you were remodeling your bathroom, yeah. and you asked me about it. So, yeah. uh, on those early toilets, they got the low part right, but they didn't get the flow part. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's low but no flow. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one uh, really compares well, and so I know you're going to be getting yeah. one. So, uh, I just decided. Let's make a video for Tony, and I'll tell him how mine was, and then you can go see it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's go to work. Okay, Ed, uh, what I decided would be a fair test for this instead of golf balls, I certainly don't want to pull golf balls yeah. out. Uh, we're going to use Oreos. So open those Oreos up, yeah. and we'll, we'll just show their, their standard uh, Oreo cookies. And uh, what I'm going to ask you, how, mm -hmm. how's it taste? Good? Good. All right. Now, here's the trick. After the toilet demonstration, if there's anything left, don't eat those cookies. Okay. All right. Good point. And so uh, what I want to do is put a little bit of water on them and get them kind of the right shape for the mm -hmm. test. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can work on that, and I'll, okay. I'll get, we'll get them going. Okay, Ed, uh, you did what I told you. You took the cookies, you moistened them a little bit, you made them into columns so that they have, uh, I don't know how to be delicate about this, but they have the correct shape. Mm. Well, now we need just a little bit more effect, so uh, put a little peanut butter on okay. each side there. <clears throat> now you're the more technical one, Mike, uh, and I do have a little bit of artistic skills, so I guess I've <clears throat> been... Uh, Tap for this job here. Yeah, it looks uh, fairly real. You just can't be rough with them because they're, no. they're just barely hanging together. But the peanut butter might help hold them together. Yes. That's going to make a realistic test piece, I mm. think. Oh, very good. Kind of okay. like my days of doing Adobe. Now we'll go test the old toilet I have, which is, uh, we still have one of those downstairs. Okay. And then we'll uh, test the one for upstairs. Okay. The Sounds newer good. one. Okay, Ed, this is the uh, the toilet that I didn't replace because it's down here in the basement and seldom used. But we had three toilets exactly like this, and it's called the American Standard. And I don't know if the camera will focus well enough, but it's a 6.0 model, and it uses 1.6 gallons. And would you take off the tank bottom or top for me? And we look inside here, we see, you know, it's your standard toilet and it's ready to go and it's adjusted to the highest approved water level and so forth. So open up a lid on this test vehicle here. Okay, here we and, go. Uh, carefully grab uh, the cookies and put them in all at once like that sort of happens. Okay. Right in the middle. Just oh, give it a right. plot. Luckily I've had some medical training I know yeah. where this goes. All right. And so I think that's a pretty good model for our test here. So uh, just give it a single push on the handle there and flush this thing. There we go. That's a pretty predicted thing. And you know what? That is almost 
exactly what happened before. Mm. The cookies just didn't leave the house. Mm -hmm. Now, those are available later if you need it. Okay. All right. We're going to repeat this uh, upstairs, and then we'll give this, uh, let's call it soap time, and we'll come back and we'll give it a second flush if we need it. Okay. Okay, Ed, we're upstairs, and I want to show you this one. Take a look at how small that tank is. And I had you glove up for a reason here, you mm -hmm. know, because I actually want you to point to some things, and after mm -hmm. all, it is a toilet. Yeah. And so let's look at the inside the tub for the tank first. Pull that thing off. The tank is dinky. But look down inside. Do you see how big the opening is where the water goes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that's, like... That's a big flapper valve, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's like twice as big. Mm -hmm. But look how little water's in that yeah. thing. I mean, I could adjust that up. Barely enough for a cocktail. Yeah. I don't even think it's 1.2 gallons. Mm -hmm. But, okay, let's uh, do our plop test. Here. Okay, here we go. And by the way, the peanut butter and Oreo. Do it from a little higher. I like I like high effects okay. there. Okay. Mm, yeah, peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Yeah, plop it goes. All right. That was a good sound effect. Okay. Here we go. Let's take a look before you flush. Would you take your glove, and I, I know that uh, you see it where it looks dark around the edge where the water is? Mm -hmm. Feel that with your glove and right describe here. it. Right here? Yeah. Would you say there's a ridge? Yeah, there is. Yeah, and that tells you exactly where the water goes. And I think that ridge has something to do with how well it flushes. I'm not sure. But I know that the water comes gushing out, and we, we saw one similar to this in a hotel. And in the hotel, it sounded like a jet plane oh. flushing. So I'm going to back up okay. so that we can see this. And then you just give it a single push. Okay. Let's see what we get. Fire in the hole. All right. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh, a, all gone. Not a crumb left. Darn. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, you can't do it through your rubber gloves, but... This has what they call micro finish glaze on it. And it's like a Teflon skillet. It really cleans up easily. You never scour it or anything. It's really clean. Okay, well, it's going to cost you a little more if you decide to go with this model. And let's t take a look at the name of it there. Uh, I think it costs about, oh, 20 to $30 more. What's that name again? Isira. Isira? Like Isira, yeah. yeah. And it looks like that inside. I think we've done a, a pretty good video, and it's obvious the results. We'll mm -hmm. just go back downstairs and finish up with flush number two and okay. see, if, see if we need the uh, plunger again. Hey, thanks for helping me out. Okay, no problem. I think you had a pretty good first-hand demonstration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, we'll take a look. Now, this has had quite a soak on it here. The cookies are still kind of lying in place. But, uh, here, just to be fair, add uh, three or four extra cookies in there, just to be fresh ones. And uh, now let's let's do the uh, flush two. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's getting a nice, swirly, segmented effect. And I think we made it clean. All right. All right. So only two flushes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you might need a, a plunger or two, but, you know, I'm thinking about getting rid of these things, or I'm at least putting them in storage because for the last three and a half months that we've had these, what's the name of it again? I Icera. Iceras. Not only are we saving water, it's a, just about a little bit quieter, and it works every time. Beautiful. All right. Well, I think you're ready to go see Tony and make a decision about at least two models of toilets okay. that they have. And tell him that his old teacher said hi. I will do that. All right. Goodbye.